Card Website Builder Complete Tutorial for Beginners Step by Step. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use card.ko to create our own website. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistakes. So here we are on card.ko and we have two options, we can log in or we can choose a starting point. So let's click on choose a starting point, we can log in a little bit later. So click on this green button right up here. We'll come to this page where we can find a lot of different templates we can use. As you can see there are a lot of them and moreover we can switch into different categories like our profile, landing page form, portfolio or sectioned, so you can find the most suitable um, template as for you and after that we can easily customize it. So I'm going to use one of these templates, I'm going to choose, I think this one is pretty good. So we can simply click on demo to view how does it look like as for us. So it looks like this and yeah I think it's pretty good, we can start with it, so let's click on select and we'll come to our edit page. So as you can see, it looks like this. Uh, this is our edit page. Basically, we have the menu in the right top corner right up here where we can add different blocks like this one. We can undo previous like options, actions or redo actions. We can also click on this button here and re-upload our website and we can switch into different devices. For example, we can switch into like mobile view to view how does it look like from mobile. So we can switch back to desktop view and we can publish this website by clicking on this icon right up here. Also we have like options in more button, we can publish, we can view site, we can start over, we can change the background, some add some pages. Uh, find the instructions, shortcuts and documents. We can find a lot of shortcuts here. As you can see, it helps to work with our website a little bit easier. So they are similar like to copy, to paste, to cut and so on. So I think it's pretty cool that we can use these shortcuts to make our work much, much easier. So let's get started with our like page here. So in order to work with the page, we need to click on any element we'd like to customize and we can change every single part. As you can see, I've clicked on the wall page here and in the left side, there is like menu. We can, what can we do basically with our page? So we can change the style. As you can see, we can change it to box, white box, or like tall box so it's like changes the style of the wall page we can change the position we can change the width uh, so it will be like easier to view it from different devices for example we can work with padding we can work with horizontal padding work with margins uh, basically i don't suggest you to change something here because it's like not that suitable all the templates are pretty good like made with all these settings so you don't have to change it. All you can do is maybe to change size so it may look like uh, like this now. So let's go back to like change uh, to page settings. I'm just going to click somewhere here and we'll, we need to go to basically page settings. I need to click somewhere here. Yeah, so now we can change the background if we need. So we can change the color here. We can change it to the image. So basically all the background is about like these gaps here in the right side and in the left side. So if you have like uh, no uh, space there, there, you won't be able to change the background. So we can change the position, we can change the title, we can change the size, we can change the transparency color and so on. And basically, yeah, this is a way of how can we deal with background. Also, I'd like to change this text here. So I'm going to replace it with the name of our channel. Let it be like this. And here I'd like to write tutorials. Yeah, so we can easily replace our text anywhere we'd like to use and it will help us to move the all the other elements to make it suitable. So I'm going to undo it. So now it looks like this. I'd like to also click on it here and as you can see it supports the following markdown like format. So we can format it like this uh, with like bold, italic, uh, like uh, something like this. Also, we can change the color as you can see, we can change the font here, but I like this font so I won't do this. We can change the width, line spacing, basically all uh, we can do. Also change the animation, for example, let it be like a fade right. We can change the duration, 
uh, we can change the delay and so on so i'm going to click on done and i'm going to find how this looks like and as you can see it has like its own animation here so yeah i think it's pretty cool also i'd like to add some image right up here on this page so i'm going to click on plus and here we are i need to uh, click on image as you can see now it's pretty uh, like big here so let's try to make it uh, a little bit smaller and we'll try to place it right up here is it possible yeah it's possible but it's a little bit hard to place it in this container so we need to work with like margin or so on so sometimes it could be really hard because they don't provide us the opportunity to you know uh, place it anywhere we need it's like a Mm, divided into different sections and so on so in order to add some image we need to click on right up here click on upload and after that we can upload every anything we would like to use as an image we can also add the text add the link if you want it to lead somewhere for example to our youtube channel or so on and yeah so basically this is a way of how can we add different elements simply click on plus and then just add something here also I'd like to add maybe gallery here so let it be like this also let's add some video also video so as you can see the process is quite simple all we need to do is just to click on plus add and then just uh, find what would we like to work so basically we can also deal with different like a icons here we can add icons as you can see uh, we can change the type for example if you want to add maybe like a checkbox or something like this so we can easily add it here we can uh, change the links if you want to lead them to another platforms and so on so the steps are quite simple simply just click on every single part and try to customize it when everything is done we can just simply click on save and as you can see it was successfully like we can successfully publish it and now all we need to do is just to create our account so basically we can just input our name right up here input our email input password and then just confirm our password and in a few seconds our account will be created and then we'll be able to publish our website easily so as you can see the navigation is quite simple and it looks like this so let's click on exit yeah i'm going to click on exit once more and as you can see they provide us a huge amount of templates into different categories so i think it will be easy for you to find the suitable one and to customize it as for yourself but basically yeah this is the way of how can we deal with card.ko to create our own website i hope guys this tutorial helped you out uh, if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below that's all for this video i wish you a very very good day and goodbye guys